Joan Oaks here at uh, Hagster's Hot Rods in our new facility here in Homer City, Pennsylvania. And today we've got for you our newest addition to our inventory. This is a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro RSSS styled car. Um, as we do always, we've got it up on the lift. We're going to go ahead and run through all of the stuff we see here on the underside. And then we'll get it down go around the outside of the vehicle for you. Take the inside, under the hood, all of that. So starting with uh, the back end here, we've got it up. So we're going to go ahead and start here. Got a fuel tank here. This looks to be a fairly new fuel tank. Um, you can tell, you know, the finish on it that, you know, hasn't been out in the elements too much. Um, it does appear to have a little bit of a ding in it right here. But again, you can see the finish, you know, whatever happened to it wasn't very much because uh, it didn't mark anything else up. So um, all the mounting hardware, the straps, the hardware, um, the, uh, the rubber insulation here uh, in between the straps and the tank, all of that is in good condition here on this car. Um, from what I can see from the underside here, um, the trunk pan itself is in good condition, all one piece, all solid back here, and it's the correct stamp for, for the trunk. Um, as far as rear end suspension and drive line back here, we'll start out here at the, the uh, side here, work our way across. So what we have here, um, we've got some brand new tires here, front and back. Now these are uh, a uh, Linlong Crosswind tire. Um, honestly, a tire I haven't heard of before, but again, all brand new. So uh, it looks to be a directional type tire, um, low profile, real nice tread pattern here. Again, matching tread front and rear. Um, now these are mounted on a set of 18 inch uh, Riddler polished aluminum wheels here. Um, so again, a real nice wheel and tire package here. Gets it set down a little bit and gives you that bigger wheel look there to fill up the wheel well there a little bit. Um, now inside of those wheels, we have a set of drum brakes across the rear. Um, then we have the multi-leaf rear suspension, a 12-bolt GM rear end posi unit here. Um, so that's your drive line back here. That's your running gear as far as wheels, tires, and brakes back here. Now you can also see we've got dual exhaust here um, with tailpipes out the back. Those are the correct tailpipes too. They go up over top of the rear end and then they exit out between the multi-leaf rear suspension and the quarter panel here. Um, all the exhaust hangers look to be intact, look to be um, at least back here all new um, and they are hung as they should be. Uh, and then we have a set of, uh, these are FlowPro uh, mufflers back here. They look to be in real good shape too. So uh, all this looks to be fairly new for the exhaust system. Uh, the finish is still all nice on it, uh, everything. And it, this is all, uh, looks to be a, a fully welded up uh, exhaust system too. I don't see any clamps, all welds, uh, all the way up to where they uh, made up with the long tube headers there at the collectors there. All right, here we are now under the center of our 68 Camaro here. Um, we're just gonna kind of talk about what we see here now. Uh, first thing, uh, obviously, that everybody wants to know, how are the floors in the car? Well, this car had uh, the floors replaced in it, but they used full floor pans in it, the correct metal, the stamped uh, steel components, uh, and they were done right. Welded in, seam sealed, um, you know, where they were all welded. So again, uh, you should not have any issues whatsoever. Those were nicely done in this car. Um, drive shaft, they've got it painted up uh, black here to match underneath the car. You can see the exhaust here a lot better too now up in the center of the car here. And again, you can see where everything is all welded up. No exhaust clamps whatsoever on it. Um, exhaust, like I said, was hung up real nice. It's tucked up nice and tight here, about as tight as you can to uh, give you more ground clearance here. Um, the frame rail, the subframe itself, you can see it's nice and square and straight um, for the subframe. You've got uh, emergency brakes hooked up here, so you've got all the correct mounting hardware. The frame J hook here, cables run all the way back to those rear drum brakes. Um, now we have uh, brake lines run up along uh, the bottom of the uh, floor pan here all the way to the back. We've got the fuel line run on the opposite side all the way back. 
And again, they use that spiral stuff around anywhere where it's bent to help eliminate any kinking of the line as they do the bends in there. Uh, as I mentioned before, we've got a set of long tube headers here. Um, so the only place you really have gaskets on, on this whole exhaust system here would be right here at the collectors and of course up where they mount to the block there. Um, so again, that looks a real good there. As far as transmission goes, we've got a four-speed manual transmission, and this is the Muncie M21 four-speed manual transmission. Looks like they've got a pretty heavy-duty uh, bell housing here, too. Um, and again, it's uh, got the, uh, the cover down along the bottom here to help protect that flywheel from any dirt or debris coming in and chipping the, the tooth that, that, you know, that may be possible. But with this setup, it should not happen. Um, and that's really about it here uh, as far as the center of the car. Uh, one other thing we could look at real quick is the steering components since those are mounted to the back side of the cross member on this car. All the tie rods look to be in good condition both sides. Uh, the little rubber dust boots here or grease boots, those are all intact. The Zerk fittings for your grease fittings, those are all intact too. Um, again, those, cut, those boots they keep all the dirt and debris out, keep the grease in to keep those ball joints um, you know, operable and maintained as they should. Um, you can see here also, we've got front disc brakes on this car. Those are power disc brakes as well. Um, so again, uh, these, this car is gonna stop real good for you, having the disc up front, drums in the rear. And finally, now we've made our way to the front here underneath our 68 Camaro. Um, so again, we're just gonna go ahead and work our way from side to side across the car and let you know exactly what you're seeing here in the video. So again, up front, we've got those matching tires, same thing that we had on the back, uh, the little long uh, crosswinds tires. Now the fronts, just to give you an idea of the sizes on these, the fronts are 225, 45, uh, R18s. The backs were uh, 235, 45, uh, R18s, I believe is correct. Again, you can see nice, uh, nice tread pattern here. Again, a directional tread pattern. These are new tires, not used tires, and they're mounted on those 18 inch polished aluminum Riddler wheels. Um, again, the disc brakes up front, power disc brakes. And then as far as all of your, sus or, yeah, your suspension components, these are just all stock stamped steel components that the Camaro had from the factory. So your lower control arms, upper A arms, all stock, coilovers, shocks. Now this has a front sway bar on it. Um, the uh, sway bar bushings for your frame mounts your bushings for your uh, sway bar end links. Those are all in good shape. These look to be uh, updated to like a urethane bushing on your sway bar end links. Um, the shock mounts, the bushings on the shocks themselves, those all look good. Um, the front cross member, you've got the, uh, the one up front, clear up front here that the front of your lower control arms mount off of. Um, that's in real good shape. And you've got the main cross member back here too. It's in pretty good shape as well. Um, other things to mention underneath here, we do have the front air dam here on the bottom uh, lip of the car here. And uh, as far as anything else that I can see, um, I can tell you it's got a uh, stock style radiator um, with the uh, stock shroud on it for cooling. Um, the frame rails up front here look to be in real good shape too. Um, all the bolts and hardware are in good condition as well. Um, so with that said, um, we're all done underneath here. So we'll go ahead and bring this down off the lift and we'll do the outside portion of our video now. Show you the interior, under the hood, in the trunk, and then we'll fire the motor up for you. All right, here we are now um, going around the outside of our 68 Camaro RS SS style. Um, so here we go. Uh, Black exterior on this car, nice shiny smooth black paint, and the car is nice and straight down the side here. Again, black a very hard color to disguise any imperfection or flaws in bodywork. And if you look down the sides of this car, um, you can see it's just as straight as can be. We've got the white bumblebee nose stripe up here, the SS stripe. Um, we've also got the 350 front fender emblems here. 
Uh, as far as um, like our marker light, side marker light, the bezels, the lens covers, those are in real good condition. There's no cracks or chips on those. Um, now this uh, particular person elected to go without uh, the uh, wheel lip moldings on here. Just a nice, smooth, clean look up here. Um, so they've got these uh, uh, the blunt or uh, I'm trying to think of the name, Crossroads tires. It's kind of an off-brand name, uh, but again, they're all brand new tires, matching tread patterns, directional style tread on these as well. So we have uh, 225, 45 R18s up front, mounted on those polished aluminum Riddler wheels, 18 inch wheels. Um, we've also got the Camaro script emblem and the SS emblem here on the back side of the front fender. Um, now as we get moving back the side of the car here, we'll start out here. It's got the bright uh, lower body moldings on the car as most of your RSs would have. Again, that's in good condition. Nice and straight and polished up pretty nice there on this car. Uh, now we get to the doors. So we'll look at door gaps. Look at the fronts. Look at the backs of the doors. Um, not too bad on this car. Elevations are really good on it. You've got all the bright work, the trim here along the top of the door and where the quarter window is. And then the bright drip rail molding. Now that's all in really good shape too. Nice and polished up. Good and straight there. Now we do have just the driver's side mirror on this car. They've elected not to put the passenger side on, which again, in most cases, uh, most of your cars only came with the driver's side. Adding the other one was always kind of like an option there for you. So since we're here at the door, we'll go ahead and open up the door here for you. Just take a quick peek on the inside here. Of course, we'll get a little more in-depth with this a little later on as we go inside the car. But again, on the inside of the door, you've got that same smooth, shiny black paint here. You've got the rubber bump stops both on the top and down here on the bottom. Weather stripping here around the door is in really good shape. No, no tears, no cracks, uh, no chunks out of this. So again, that looks to be fairly good shape and should seal up no problem whatsoever. Real quickly here, just a quick glance here, we've got the full black deluxe interior, the house to the upholstery on the seats, both front and back, obviously bucket seats. Our door sill plates in here are in excellent shape too. Even our door jam view seals in here are in really good shape on this car. I'll go ahead and close this. Closes real nice here, good solid thud. Again, doors adjusted pretty good on this car. Again, you see the ending here of that lower body molding here. Again, it's in good shape. And uh, then that brings us back to our quarter panel. Again, no wheel lip moldings. We've got the Linglon uh, Crossroads tires here. Again, on those 18 inch polished aluminum Riddler wheels. The back tires are 255, 45R18s. Again, all new rubber on this car. All right, around the back side of our 68 Camaro here, um, now we'll go ahead and take a look at this. So we've got uh, the rear trunk spoiler here, painted black, just the same as the car. The actual trunk lid itself, if you look at the gaps, the whole way around the trunk, very uniform the whole way around. Elevations are really good on this trunk lid. Uh, as far as your trim around the rear glass, that's in pretty good shape, polished up pretty nicely there. Rear glass in this, all the glass, as a matter of fact, looks to be probably some, as far as the original glass goes, looks to be pretty good. Um, not too many marks. You see just a few little tiny light, light scratches um, here and there on it, uh, but not very many. Uh, and again, the glass is nice and clear, um, so again, decent shape there. As far as our taillights go, you can see the bezels around the taillights. Looks to be all new stuff back here. You can see how nicely polished up it is. The black where it should be black, it's not chipped up or, or anything like that. Looks to be all new. Lenses also, no cracks, no chips in any of the four back here. Um, the rear bumper, probably a little bit of an older chrome job on that. Um, you can see you know, a few marks in it. But again, no dents, no dings, nice and straight, polished up really nice. Now they've gone with the SS 
gas cap back here too. Um, so again, a, a nice touch back there to follow through with all the SS styling cues that they went with here. Uh, now it does have the correct rear lower balance for the RS down here. And you can tell that because it's got the tail lights or the backup lights, I should say, cut into that uh, rear lower balance. So that's how that should be for the RS car. So let's go ahead and open the trunk lid now. You hear the trunk pop actually, so the lock works on it. So on the underside of our trunk lid, that same smooth shiny black paint here, trunk seal and weather strip looks to be all new also. So again, sealing up from the elements should not be an issue. Now in our trunk here, they've got this nice uh, trunk mat or trunk carpeting put down in here looks to have been uh, made just for this car. It's, you know, contoured right along with the factory trunk pans in this car. And if you lift the actual mat up, you can see that the trunk is in really good shape. All one piece floor, all solid, there's no patches, and they've done it up with their own type of uh, white and gray trunk spatter paint in here too. Uh, so again, that's all in good condition there. So we could go ahead and close the trunk up. That shuts nice there, it's locked. So again, that trunk latch works as it should. So that's pretty much everything around the back side of the car now. All right, here we are now, passenger side of our vehicle. So again, this will be real quick. Everything's the same as what it was over on the driver's side. Again, the uh, body, if you look down the sides here, again, black, a hard uh, color to disguise any kind of imperfections in body work. So if you look down the side, all the panels are nice and straight on this car. Uh, big quarter panels here, we've got our tail or our side marker bezels and lenses. Again, those are in good shape. Bezels are polished up and the lens covers, no cracks or chips in those. Those are in good condition. No wheel lip moldings either on this car. And again, we've got those uh, Lingland. Uh, Crosswinds tires there, 255, 45, R18s on the back. And again, these are 18 inch polished uh, Riddler wheels here, aluminum Riddler wheels. Um, so those are in good shape. And the finish on those, you can see it's just like a mirror finish on those. So again, nice wheels on this car. Uh, now as far as the other trim and bright work on the car, we've got the bright drip rail moldings the whole way around the window. Again, these are in real good shape, nice and straight, polished up pretty nice. The uh, bright work here along the uh, edges of the door and where the quarter window is back here, that's in really good shape too. Nice and straight, no dents or dings of any kind, polished up real nice. Again, we've got that lower body molding down here. That's straight too down the car. Now again, it does look like it comes down a little bit, but that is by design. That's how these things fit. You got a little bit of an angle here, and they just follow the body lines on the bottom of the doors there, so that's why they are the way they are. But they are nice and straight, each individual piece polished up pretty nice on this car. Again, our door, if you look at the gaps here, the back side gap, and then you come up and take a look at the front side gap, Pretty uniform. Elevations are pretty good on this car too. Um, the back's really, really good. Front, just ever so slightly, just a little variation there. But again, that could be just adjustment of the door mostly, or maybe a little bit of the fender there. But again, for the most part, it's pretty good there, the whole way up and down the door. We're gonna go ahead again, just like we did on the other side. Open up our door here, just take a look real quickly inside here. Again, the same black shiny paint on the inside, the rubber bump stops both on the top and, well, down on the bottom, we are missing the little rubber bump stop there. But we do have that newer weather stripping around the door to seal the door up, so that's real nice, it looks to be new. There's no tears or chunks taken out of it. Door panels are nice, again, this is that full deluxe black, Pounds to the interior, carpeting looks to be new too, dash pads, good shape, no cracks in that. Um, all the weather stripping around the top of the window channel here is all in excellent shape too. So again, all that stuff with the door JMU seals, those threshold sill plates there, in good condition on this car. So we'll close that.
and that door closes real nice and easy too. And you can tell that door is pretty good for adjusting. So as we come to the front side here of the door and up to the fender now, again, you've got that Camaro script emblem with the SS emblems on the back side of the front fender. Okay, again, clean wheel lips here, uh, no moldings. Uh, 225, 45R18 tires up front. Again, 18 inch wheels everywhere, all four corners. This brakes up front, drums on the back. And then that brings us to the front now. Again, our side marker bezels here and lenses in excellent shape. The bezels are polished up nice and the lenses, no cracks, no chips out of those whatsoever. And again, the 350 emblem up here and then that white bumblebee nose stripe there. And finally, now we've made our way 360 degrees around this car. We're now here at the front end. And again, you can tell the RS styling cues here along with some of the SS stuff too. Um, first and foremost is the front grille with those hideaway headlights as was very common with the RS cars. Um, so again, that was part of their package. So again, you had these hideaway headlights that whenever you pull the lights on, if they were uh, hooked up uh, on a vacuum, um, the car would have to be running, you'd pull the headlights on, they would open up. Uh, these have been disconnected from the vacuum. A lot of times when you do engine work and it robs the motor of vacuum, these headlight doors then cease to function properly. So they'll unhook the vacuum. Sometimes they'll convert them over to electric. Um, the electric kits are kind of expensive to do it. So a lot of times they'll elect just to leave these as a manual operated uh, uh, headlight door. So you would just get out, pull your headlights on, and swing those headlight doors open at night, and then they work just fine. So again, that's what we have here, manually operated headlight doors with the hideaway headlights. That is correct for RS. They do have the SS emblem here to go along with all the other SS styling cues as well. Underneath uh, all of the front fascia here, we have uh, that front air dam, the black front air dam there. Nicely chrome front bumper. Now this one looks really good here. Chrome's polished up really nice. The black on the grill is nice. The bright work around the outside edges of the grill work is in nice shape and polished up nicely too. Uh, and you've got the Camaro script emblem up here on the header panel too. And now you can see the full shot there of that SS white bumblebee nose stripe here. Again, that is nice. It's painted on. So again, it's not a decal or anything that's going to peel off. That's all done in paint. We've got a steel two-inch cowl induction hood here too. And again, you can see how nice the shape that is. The black paint, the gaps. You can look down the sides of the hood here at your gaps. Both sides pretty uniform here. As a matter of fact, the whole way around this hood, front to back, side to side, looks really good as far as the hood fitment on this car. Uh, we'll go ahead and open the hood up now, and then we'll get into talking about what is underneath here. So again, on the underside of the hood, we just have good um, insulation underneath here, just as it should be, one solid piece tacked up, just as it should be with the correct fasteners. Um, as far as the power plant goes in this car, this is a 350 cubic inch motor. It's a non-original motor, so the numbers do not match on it but it is a uh, period correct 350 cubic inch motor. Uh, we've got a chrome air cleaner on here with finned aluminum valve covers. Um, now those valve covers, they have a breather on one, PCV valve on the other, so that's done up correct. We've got a Holly uh, dual feed four barrel carburetor, and that does have an electric choke on it. So a nice feature when the mornings are cold, you can go ahead and fire that up. The electric choke kicks on till it warms up for you, and then you're good to go. Uh, it's also got an Edelbrock Performer RPM aluminum intake. So again, a little bit lighter weight, and it helps deliver the fuel a little bit better. As far as Spark goes, they have upgraded this car. It is an HEI distributor back there, and then they have a set of MSD Street Fire spark plug wires to help get the spark down there to the chambers where they should be. Uh, we've got long tube headers to help it breathe a little better then, and then we've seen that dual exhaust from the underside of the car, how nice that is, all pretty much all new stuff underneath there. 
Uh, now again, the block's all painted up black to match with everything else on the car. Um, inner fender wells are nice. The cowl's nice back there too. Now again, this is power brakes, and that was disc up front, drum in the rear, and then it is power steering as well. Uh, they've got a factory or stock style um, radiator here with the fan shroud, the factory fan shroud, but it's got a six blade, uh, kind of like a flex fan on there so that the blades will flatten out as you're driving and up to speed and then they'll get more of a curve in them as you slow down to help pull that cool air through that radiator. Um, heated lines are hooked up too on this car. Um, and that's really, I'm um, just trying to think if there's anything else, but that's pretty much it uh, uh, to go over here. Again, everything nicely done under the hood. All right, here we are now finally inside of our 68 Camaro, so we get to take a look at how nice this car really is on the inside too, as well as the outside. So again, this is a full black deluxe interior, hounds to the upholstery on the seats, both the front buckets and the rear seat covers all matching. Um, black headliner tucked up nice and tight. I don't see any tears or any fraying whatsoever. Um, this looks to be pretty new as far as the headliner goes. You got your black sun visors here, and again, those are all in good condition, nice and clean too, and they stay up as they should too. Factory dash, um, factory dash pad here, and again, it's in excellent condition. It's not cracked. From, or, you know, from being dried out in the sun, it's not faded. Nice dash pad here on our, on our 68 Camaro. Um, so let's work here. Um, steering wheel. This is the uh, like the simulated wood grain sport style steering wheel. Three bar design. Real nice wheel. Um, you see these in a lot of the Camaros here. Um, the full deluxe door panels with the grab handles on the door handles, and you've got the grab handle here up on the dash right here above your glove box too, all part of that deluxe interior. We've got all factory instrumentation here, so we've got a factory 120 mile an hour speedo, we've got the factory tick-tock tachometer in here too. Now I don't believe that the clock works, but the tack does. Um, factory heater controls, we have a custom auto sound digital AM, FM, radio here. Now these are those custom factory fit radios um, that require no modification of the dash. They go right in stock location, give you a nice classic look, but an up-to-date sound. So again, those are a real nice unit and it fits in there real nice. A little bit of wood grain trim here right in the center of our dash and then that follows down here into our factory four-speed center console. And again, this has the gauge package in it too for the console. So we have your battery gauge, your temperature gauge, fuel gauge, and then the oil pressure gauge as well. Hurst four-speed shifter here. Um, nice black carpeting. That looks to be all new in this car too. There's no tears or any fading or anything like that in the carpet. So real nice carpeting in the car. Um, we've got front seat belts. Those are retractable belts as well. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much about it here too for the inside of the car. Um, your vents are nicely polished up here and in good shape. So again, nothing that I see in here that's of any issue whatsoever. All nice, all done up, uh, real nice and clean here. Um, and again, all factory stuff here in the interior of the car. So with that, um, we're all done in here. Um, we'll go ahead and get the motor running for you here shortly, but until uh, then, um, what I'll do is leave you with, uh, if you have any questions or uh, anything at all that you want to call and ask us about on this car or any other car we have in our inventory, definitely give us a call or shoot us an email. All of our contact information will be made available to, to you in all of the photos and the videos that we've done and on our website as well at hangsters.com. Thank <laughs> you.